one thing I'd like to say is when we talk about a new social contract, it's really thinking about is it really a new social contract we're trying to create and design? Are we kind of preferring and, and really looking at what has been done in the past and what we sort of ripped apart and destroyed in order for capitalism to exist? And um, the ways in which we're learning from and building upon you know, the movements of um, various people, not only across the world, as has been mentioned, but um, to indigenous folks and to people across the world who have had their lands ripped away from them um, and who did work in harmony with each other and, and the environment and how we can ensure that they are really, and who is with us today is really leading that charge. And that it's not just new things that we're creating and designing and developing, but things that were in existence that we've been cut and ripped away from. So now I'm going to turn to you because development, equitable development, kind of touches everything, right? It touches how we're governed, it touches how we might decriminalize, it touches how we work. Um, and clearly, like many cities, has suffered displacement instead of development, in lieu of development, wealth concentration. How do you feel your work connects to everything else you've been hearing? Um, in particular, how it connects to the climate work you're doing as well. Yeah, so equitable, uh, looking at equitable development and thinking about that, it's really, part of it is putting people back into development. Um, you know, the, so much of what's already been said is that the focus is profit, it's building, it's these things. But in a city like Philadelphia, when there is a desire for increased population, when there's plenty of vacant land, plenty of vacant buildings, why is there even a question of displacement happening? Um, when we can see equitable development is also about looking at and breaking down those silos, not just as activists, but um, as well as, um, not just as activists, but also in terms of looking at the structures of our systems. When, we're, when we shut down 23 schools, uh, public schools, and hand those properties over to developers who are creating luxury housing and then asking the question, why is there this or that or the other? You know, that's the basis, that's the foundation, right? Um, in allowing for and accessing the education across the board, no matter what neighborhood you live in, no matter what community you live in. Um, but you can see the movement of those resources in different ways while still asking the questions, why does this happen? Why does that happen? When we have the research and the solutions for all of these things, so how are we putting them into practice? How are we doing that um, with our putting new people into, into city council, for instance? Uh, and so like has already been mentioned earlier, it is necessary to do this in so many different layers and levels. And so how are we doing that in some of the work we're um, doing to address climate issues? So I'm one of many members of the Philadelphia Climate Works Coalition, and that coalition is led by Zakia Elliott, um, who's a part of Sierra Club. And this work is around bringing people who don't typically sit at the table together, so labor groups and environmental justice concerns and issues and things like that, and having conversations to look at the shared commonalities, the shared goals, um, uh, the shared, um, you know, the shared ways that we can see common outcomes from different places. So, um, in, the, in the case of climate, um, you know, bringing together people in conversation. You know, a lot of people who think about trash, for instance, in the neighborhood, right? Um, and bringing the questions around trash, but in conversation about sanitation workers, right? And the, the rights of sanitation workers, and tying that to history, but looking at and bringing people in conversation with each other to understand the, what sanitation workers actually face in their jobs, um, that their jobs are. And, and so it's highlighting the different ways that we're all playing different parts and, and connect together, and that's one example. Um, but Philadelphia Climate Works is also looking at transit equity. What does that mean? Looking again historically um, at um, the different ways that people have fought for access to transit and what it means to have truly, um, truly accessible public transit that takes us where we need, but also in thinking about having opportunities to design new solutions, making sure that our transit systems are following environmental 
standards that we can, um, that when we're buying new or making new, that we're not doing it in the same old way, which to go back to my earlier point about education, what are we actually teaching in our schools, which is where most of our young people spend their time. Um, you know, we know that there are various ways that we teach about who we are as citizens in our society, um, and, and so that is, is also a basis. Um, I think uh, something that we would describe as integrated solutions Absolutely. to our multiple crises and problems.